morning. About 9.40 this morning, police and emergency services have responded to reports of a woman having been um, attacked with a knife this morning. Um, on arrival, we've seen that two women have been assaulted. It's a group that are known to each other. And what we've worked out since, uh, we've, we've located a suspect in relation to this. We can assure the community that there is no other risk to any other members of the public and that we've got the matter in hand. The investigation is ongoing, so there's a limit to what detail I can tell you. But once again, I can reassure you that the public is safe and that we well and truly have the matter in hand. Can you, um, can you tell us about the woman that's been arrested and how that came about? Okay, so the woman that's been arrested is a 33-year-old woman from Adelaide. Um, what we understand is that she's presented at Hindley Street. The exact circumstances around how she's come to be at Hindley Street is still being investigated at the moment. Uh, so you were called to report to the knife. Do you still believe the knife was involved? Look, we've uh, got a crime scene here. We've got broken bottles and we've also located a knife. What we're yet to determine is what is the likely uh, weapon that has been used. But the investigation ongoing will reveal that. And um, how do you believe that the crime scene moved from the south side to the north south side? Oh, look, I'm not in a position to work that or to give you an answer about that at the moment. What I can tell you is that the altercations happened on the southern side of Grenfell Street. Um, and at some point in time, they've crossed the road. And that's where emergency services, including ourselves and uh, SA Ambulance, have treated both of the victims for minor injuries. They've both been taken to the Royal Adelaide uh, Hospital and none of the life injuries are life-threatening. How, how distressing would that have been to witness? I understand there were buses, um, passengers driving past, one bus had to um, a, a stop to, to let the women pass. Yeah, look, um, any incident like this to see, um, to be involved in, is going to be stressful for anybody that does see it, anybody that's involved in it. And let's not forget about the emergency services, people that have to respond to something that is described as quite violent and they have to take the necessary action to make sure that everybody's safe, and today they've done that. And do you know what um, charges you're expecting to lay on this 33-year-old? Well, the charges are anticipated to be serious, but the exact nature is still to be determined. Um, our investigators are still speaking with the woman who's been arrested, and uh, they'll finalise those throughout the day, What's and that'll the be provided. The victims? Uh, the victims are at the Royal Adelaide Hospital. Their injuries are believed to be superficial. They are being treated, but they're not life-threatening. Is she expected to be um, granted police bail? Oh, look, it's too early to determine that at the moment and we need to investigate the full cause of what's happened here today. With the crime scene spread across both sides of the road, could you talk us through the roads had to be blocked for some sort? Yeah, look, as we always do, we thoroughly investigate everything. Um, we need to determine how things have happened, why they've happened. We've closed the roads in both directions on Grenfell Street for a short time. I know it causes inconvenience to members of the public, but what we've done is made sure that we open them as soon as we can once we've uh, got all of the evidence that we need. Were any of the women involved um, staying at the Look, I, I'm not sure where they've come from today and that's still to be uh, determined. Have you worked out the connection between the three women if they are all known to one another? Look, are they related? We believe that all three people are known to each other. Their exact connection is yet to be determined. But as again, I'll reassure the public that uh, the matter's in hand. They're all known to each other and it's not random. And the last thing I'll say too is if anybody's taken vision or has seen it today and they can assist us with the investigation, please call 1800 333 Especially dash cam, I imagine. I oh, look, any footage that's available, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.